essential question is how can you multiply and divide square roots? And in this lesson, in this part of this lesson today, we're going to really just work on simplifying radicals and looking at a couple properties of radicals. So the first core concept here, so in your notes you want to make sure you have the product property of square roots and if you look at it in words, the square root of a product equals the product of the square roots of the factors. So in numbers, if you have the square root of 9 times 5, that product is underneath the radical, we can break that up into a product of radicals, so it's the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. And hopefully, if you remember our perfect squares, the square root of 9 is equal to the whole number 3, so then we can just simplify that into 3 times the square root of 5. Now, in algebra, it's the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. And again, a and b must both be greater than or equal to 0 because we're dealing with square roots. So if we look to see how we can use this to our advantage, well, in the square root of 24, there are two ways that we can do this. This first way is to list the factors of 24. So we could have 1 and 24. We have 2 and 12. We have 3 and 8. And we have 4 and 6. Are there any of those pairs where one of the pairs is a perfect square? And if we look, 4 times 6, 4 is a perfect square. So I could rewrite this as the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. Now the square root of 4 is a perfect square, so this could simplify as 2 times the square root of 6. Now that's one method, and that's the method where we find the largest perfect square factor of the number that's underneath the radical. And then we simplify it from there. Now, I'm going to show you the second method, which is what we will use most of the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the factor tree like we did in class today. So this is 2 times 12, 2 times 6, 2 times 3. And so what we have now is we've rewritten 24 as a product of its prime factors. And we're going to look for pairs because we're doing a square root. So there's a pair of 2's. So the square root of 2 times 2 is just the whole number 2. So on the outside, we bring out one number of 2. And then the numbers that are underneath the radical stay underneath the radical. And 2 times 3 is 6. And so we have that as our answer. Number 2 would be the very similar type of thing, but we just leave the radical, or excuse me, the negative out in front with the answer. And now we're going to look at number 4. And we're going to have variables involved in this. And this is actually the square root of 75 n to the fifth. And so again, the first thing we do is do the factor tree for 75. So that's 3 and 25. And then we'd split up 25 into 5 and 5. So then I'd rewrite this as 3 times 5 times 5. Then I have n times n times n times n times n, right? And all that's underneath the radical. And again, because we're doing square roots, I'm going to take pairs of factors. So there's a pair of fives, one pair of n's, and another pair of n's. Now again, when we pull out that pair, only one factor goes on the outside of the radical. Then there's an n, and here's another n. And then underneath the radical, we're going to have left 3 and an n. So my final answer is 5n squared times the square root of 3n. 